So we are out on the CAF Racer. It's MOT, taxed, insured, and back on the road. Always a bit scary. Well, you can get a tank through there, you asshole. Small children like that on the road. Or oh, always get a bit worried about that. I certainly would if I was a parent. Well, it's got a lot of growl. It's got a Motad Venom three into one uh, removable baffle. So of course we've removed the baffle for the full, uh, full sound. I'm not sure that the carburation is uh, fantastic on it. I've jetted it up as per the instructions, but uh, quite well I mean, the problem is you know this bike's what 23 years old and things have moved on a long way since then <laughs> I'd love a little uh, mirror on the handlebars I've got to sort something out I haven't ridden a bike without a mirror on it for years and uh, don't feel right in this so I'd like to know what's behind right let's uh, pull over to our little place and uh, have a look so there we have the Triumph CAF racer kit fitted to a, an originally a Triumph 900 Sprint exclusive I think this was 16,000 miles from new you see the rear subframe um, you cut the old subframe off and put this tubular affair on um, I've used the Roadster footrest hangers because I think they're a bit more sturdy I was going to put twin pipes on this but decided against it um, I may go back to that at some point but I need to modify the pipes uh, it's got modern Triumph LED indicators on it K&N filters it's fairly straightforward to do how oh, you put a Lucas headlamp on um, a few modifications to the clock mounts yeah, I mean it's uh, it's okay. It's one of those projects I started doing it and then uh, probably realised it was something I shouldn't have bothered. But yeah, it's it's okay. I probably wouldn't do it again. Um, I don't know what sort of use I'm going to get out of this bike. It seemed like a good idea at the time though. Lovely paint job guy that I've used for quite a few years did the paint it's like a candy 7-up green really nice let's, uh, let's have a bit of exhaust note right so here we have the exhaust Yes, I suppose I'm a bit underwhelmed with it all really. It's uh <laughs> it's alright. Let's go for a ride on it and see what it's really like, but I, I dunno. 
What's really annoying is I had a really immaculate Mark One Speed Triple 900, and I sold that and then uh, built this. Probably should have kept the Speed Triple 900. It's a weird thing, the calf racer scene. Um, yeah. I, I sort of quite like the old calf racers from the 60s. The classic. Tritons and Nortons and Triumphs, BSAs. You know, they had their moment, but sort of stuff's moved on from that. Because back then, you didn't really have much of an option for like really good sports bikes. I mean, they had their sporty models, but they weren't, weren't much different to uh, a normal bike, slightly hotter cam and an alley head and perhaps twin carbs. But, you know, things have moved on so far that you don't really need to make one now. I suppose it's all hark back to the 60s, but it never will do because they're modern bikes with a twist. But yeah, you know, if you're into that, great. It's, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's quite, it's, it's quite nice, it's got its own certain charm. It certainly handles better than it did as a sprint. It's a lot lighter. I mean, they're nice old engines, these uh, 900 triple engines. I was thinking about getting uh, some sort of old 90s Triumph for the winter this year. Sounds nice with that uh, three into one. It's quite good because this has got the six speed gearbox uh, in this engine being a sprint. It's actually a really nice bike that I chopped up which you probably saw in the earlier videos. Uh, when I started doing this. I mean, I was really keen in the beginning. I was gonna do like a weekly update video, but problem is you sort of go out into the shed and think, oh, I'll have a go on the bike. And uh, by the time you bugger around with cameras and that, it, it's easier just to get on and uh, do it. So yeah, I'm sorry, but I sort of got, got into it and then uh, didn't really keep on with the filming it slows you up too much and I like to get things done so yeah it's uh, one of those things I mean I had so many great ideas about filming loads of stuff that I do but it just when you're doing it the bloody camera gets in the way if you really want to you know do it get on with it I mean a lot of people do do it but as I say I like to just get on and get it done So comfort wise, I don't think the seats are gonna be a long distance touring seat somehow. I do like the sound of it though. I've always loved the sound of these old uh, triples. Carburation has sort of sorted itself out a bit. I uh, set the vacuums on the carbs yesterday. They were all great, all balanced nicely. I think it just needed to warm up a bit. When I took it for the MOT, it wasn't uh, that happy, but it's the first time it's actually been run properly for nearly two years. I fired it up in May, put some petrol through it, but the carbs are quite, you know, even in that short time, the carbs have got quite dirty and uh, cleaned them all out, so I re jetted it. But yeah, it, it's pretty surprising the difference in power. You know, when you go back 20 years, it's incredible. It really is. I mean, I think the old uh, Tiger uh, 900, the original carburetted model one, that's, uh, that's quite a nice bike. I've had one of those. Problem is, like with all this old stuff, everyone oh it's a classic it's worth money now it's a good investment and you know these bikes they're okay they're, they're, they're nice old bikes but oh, when they start getting to sort of four and five grand for a, a Daytona or a speed triple you know you, 
you want to ride these things, they're not, you know, they're old bikes. I mean, it's certainly better than an old, uh, old Triumph or BSA from a riding point of view, but, you know, they're still an old 20, 25 year old, 25, nearly 30 year old some of these are now. So they're quite an old bike, so yeah, you don't expect too much. Brakes are quite good. They're very gutsy though, very gutsy engine. They do have the dreaded spread clutch uh, issues, which uh, you're either lucky or you're not. I mean, a lot of it from memory was down to uh, sort of poor batteries. You know, the battery's not uh, charged up enough. So when you go to start it, it starts sort of farting around a bit and buggers the clutch up. But I mean, I've had loads of these uh, over the years and always kept the battery charged up, never had a spread clutch go yet. Oh yeah, it's definitely, definitely pulling better now, it's warmed up. I mean, it's quite a good kit this, but uh, probably looking at best part time you've had the tank painted you've got to be looking at probably the best part of three thousand pounds to do it and it's no good doing it to a, a cheap old bike because then you've got a lot more restoration costs in all the other parts the first bike i started on was an old trophy 900 which looked good in the pictures on ebay and uh, i actually paid bloody good money for that but when i when i got it home it, it wasn't as good as i thought it was going to be and uh i just decided it was uh a complete waste of time I ended up giving that to a mate of mine and he's uh, actually building one he's had all the frame painted I mean the engine was quite scabby and it's in that horrible grey but he's not too fussed about that but I, I was going to paint the engine but I realised what a ball lake that was to do so I, I gave up with it so and I bought this sprint and this was uh, this was a mint old thing and it was only another I think I paid £2,000 for this and I had it uh, picked up and brought back from uh, Scotland. So yeah, but, but, you know, realistically, probably with the little bits and pieces that you never sort of expect. I mean, well, you know, the exhaust actually, the, that was, I think it was about 150 quid off eBay, new old stock. Um, I think, you know, you've probably got a budget, five, five and a half grand. And to be honest, uh, I think I'd have probably, five and a half grand, I'd rather have a nice speed triple, personally. But, you know, I think with these sort of things, it's all about doing the project, isn't it? Carburation definitely isn't a uh, fantastic high up. Well, so there we have the uh, calf racer. Um, still needs it's got some carburetor issues that's certainly going to need sorting out. It's not that smooth. A bit more mucking around with the jetting, which is always a pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not running too bad. 